Two of the newest members of Wings, will you welcome Steve Holly and Lawrence Juber. Well, kids, how does it feel? I guess, wait a minute, I have no right to be speaking. Listen, we're not that young, really. No. Does Paul McCartney take you guys for cards like Stephen Stills takes his band? No, I take him. Mm. Do you he play doesn't cards? play, but I play poker, yeah. We have to play poker. He's dead right about the coaches, you know. Steve, Steve. can you... Uh, that's Steve talking. Steve, mm. can you transcend uh, all that uh, stuff, the fact that you were brought up on the Beatles music and now you're sort of with the, uh, one of the head Beatles there? Yeah. Does it get in the way? What does the Beatles get you know in the I way mean, of wings? The, the whole kind of thing. Do you have any problem? You're just a pure professional. It doesn't it's, matter. It's it. It doesn't matter now. It's a new group, and uh, I think the Beatles were probably like a really important force in in the music business, oh. like in the sixties. Right? And uh, I think that's the place to leave it. You know, I mean, we get bombarded with questions about reunions all the time. But I think between the Beatles and the Chantels, you have the whole story sure. right there. <laughs> there it is. It's all there. Mary. They were the first to use three syllables in one word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing, I'm singing. Were you the first one, Roy, to use yeah, yeah, yeah? Because I never heard that. Uh, I probably wasn't the first. I do, do remember someone writing in uh, when Pretty Woman was a hit record in England, uh, saying, why did you steal the yeah, yeahs from, from the Beatles, since you're speaking about the what? Beatles? No, and and uh, someone else wrote in and said, did you ever hear Only the Lonely? It went, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you could have put no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, we were just oh, yes, doing, yes, yes. doing <laughs> vocal figures. Uh, uh, singing vocal figures as if they were words. I understand that. You try to come up with very... He's a nice man, isn't he, Lawrence? Sure. He tries to explain, and Lawrence Juber. We're not going to call you Larry here. No, that's good. <laughs> no, I know, that's good. Are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah, it's yes. great. It's good to be here. Yes, I, I don't only mean this, but I mean the general... I don't yeah. mean to be tr making such a big deal of that, that you guys are, you know, fairly young, and then it's a top-notch big hit band and you're with it you know. right. sure. it's good to be it's good to escape from the studio we've been locked away have you been w recording Chained, now yeah locked away in the studio mm. so now we're just out heavily. talking about being yeah. locked in a studio you know? that's right where are you where, where are you uh where are you recording in new york no we were we were recording in the uk and we uh we started up in scotland in a barn Mm -hmm. We shifted and, uh, all the barley out and uh, yeah. put we the equipment to, We had to in. shovel the barley. That's true. Yes, there's to... a castle that gets credit on the new album. Yeah, well, they well, went, we, we moved else. to the that's, castle. That's, yeah. that's the haunted castle. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to shift the ghosts out and put the equipment in. Tough life, waking up at a castle in the morning. and recording. Oh, we didn't sleep there. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me staying there. <laughs> no way. No? There's between 12 and 14 <laughs> spirits that I'm not. <laughs> 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 oh, it's, uh, believe it, it's a very spooky place to be at night. It yeah. really was. I don't know, why did I just think of Keith Moon? Ah, that's know. funny. We were there. Uh, we, we were with Keith. Yes. The, uh, the, the night before, night before he, died. he died. And that's right. we were at the castle when we got the news. So maybe so, his ghost's there. You know? Was that a party? That was the. Oh, Paul has Buddy Holly Week in oh. London. I don't, don't know whether you have it here, but uh, it's. Buddy Holly's birthday, and we mm -hmm. celebrate that every year. And we premiered the Buddy Holly film and had a big party, and ah. like, everybody arrived, you know. Ah. Well, Townsend was here. That bent microphone over there is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the result of his so You thought that was a regular boom, John. No, that's an up and down. He uh, made it into a boom <laughs> afterwards, and he broke the stool. Uh, <laughs> see my uh, splotches on my trousers? That's from Pete. Is that his uh, result? Oh, <laughs> through ink. Uh, oh, no, they've grown. he was so well-behaved. No, it was a lot of fun, actually. Mm. I'm sorry I never got to meet Moon. You know, seeing that film of theirs, I sort of... It sounds stupid, but he reminded me of me a little bit. Uh, yeah. He was fantastic. Strange, yeah, I, very I loved funny. him. Yeah, crazy, um, crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah, and it, I don't know. I want to die a natural death. I hope it's like pneumonia at 84, <laughs> <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> That's, you know. No, I. Uh, yeah, that is sad. When, when, do you think I don't want to die. Yeah, I, I don't either. I don't either, but we all have to. It's it part yeah. of life. I mean, it's inevitable. We, as part I understand it, it makes the grass grow later, you know? So <laughs> you go in and then, you know, your thing. And then it makes someone can fill up on a tank of gas 20 million years from now because you died. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's, like, that's the way I heard it. it anyway. I like it. I like yeah. it. So uh, if we, well, anyway, it gets complicated. It's, uh, <laughs> but you were a geology major. And, that's right. Uh, is, that, is that true? Yes. I bombed out, though. <laughs> Roy Orbison actually was at one time studying in... Uh, how long have you, uh, Steve, how long have, have you been with Wings? About just a little over a year now. It was um, about, about January. 
that yeah. Denny got in touch. If it's not po prying uh, too much, how, how did it come about? What were you doing right before that? Well, bef well, I was doing. Was it one uh, of those scenes, Mr. McCartney? I'd like to play for you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that like that at yeah. all. Actually, in fact, he rang me up, which was nice and yeah. a big surprise. But um, before that, I mean, both Lawrence and I were working a lot of sessions and uh, touring a lot, and. Uh, Denny gave me a call one day. He's like the band's talent scout, you know, mm -hmm. when everything goes wrong and somebody disappears. He's the one that's got his nose out looking around for replacements. And yeah. uh, he, uh, we've, been, we've been friends for about four or five years because he lives in the same village. And so we tend to, like musicians, when you have a smallish community, tend to congregate in one area, you mm -hmm. know, where things are happening, you know, you of know course. sort of situation. Yeah. And he had a party one evening, and there was a drum kit set up, and uh, it was about 18 months before he realised I played drums, you know. Because, I mean, yeah. I didn't go in there saying, I'm Steve Holly, I play drums. Right. Because, you know, I didn't want to look like I was pushing for the gig. Well, he did notice something unusual about you uh, <laughs> bumming on his noggin. <laughs> <laughs> you did try to remind him on the arms of chairs, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the drummer's trait, you can't I'm help but do that. Dreaming up these scenarios, I'm sorry. Yes. So that's then... not far from the truth, really, I suppose. But um, he asked me to give him a hand with some, to demo some of the songs he was playing mm. uh, that he'd written and uh, weren't probably suitable for Wings. Yeah. So uh, we went off to the studio for a week and cut about five or six tracks. And uh, Paul obviously heard them and he gave me a call. And we had, uh, we, uh, had a jam one afternoon, and which mm -hmm. stretched to the end of, a, you know, went into a week. Mm -hmm. And on the weekend, he just asked me if I'd like to join, you know. Which yeah. was great. Yeah. That Fantastic. is great. Lawrence, you're, you're also from England, right? Yeah. Do you uh, know a guy named Tony Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Lips? Sure. No, I guess it's too big for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Lawrence, go ahead. What were you going to say? Um, I used to do studio work in London. Yeah. And I was working on a TV show with uh, an English singer named David Essex. And we had, like, each week they, were, they had a guest. And one week it was Ronnie Spector, another week it was Twiggy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I think the third week was Denny Lane and played with him, we got on okay. And Denny's like the band talent scout. Right, right. You know, I so, just said um, that, you mm -hmm. cut my line. <laughs> oh, you, I didn't hear that. <laughs> it's the trouble when you're talking all day, yeah. you come out with the same lines. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, so we were, you mm -hmm. know, we got on okay. And then I ran into him a few times. Wings were doing some work at a studio in London. Yeah. And I think I was there, I did some work with Marvin Hamlish on the Spy Who Loved Me soundtrack. Oh. And I kind of ran into Denny a few times and said, Okay, can I audition? And you know, he'd kind of smile and not say anything. And then one day, months later, I got a call saying, "Come and have a play." And got asked to join the band the same day. You know, that's great. That's very exciting, actually. Yeah, I'm sure really a lot of people exciting. out there. Uh, I'm serious about that. I really <laughs> love that story. I actually play Marvin Hamlish. Do you yes, know that? So I just heard. Yeah. Yes, we're, we're, it's roughly based on this on Marvin uh, Hamlish <laughs> <laughs> and his uh, and Carol Bea Sager. Mm -hmm. uh, they they are. Uh, Shall we say dating? Uh, they've assured me they haven't gone all the way, though. Anyway, <laughs> not until they're married. We'll be back with more of this fall to roll right after this word from Budweiser. Stay tuned. <laughs> On the latest Wings album, which is called again? Back, back to, to the, the egg. egg. Back to the egg, right. Uh, there is, um, on the second side, a section for the Rockestra. Mm -hmm. which is called the Rockestra. And uh, Steve, can you explain, because I know it has some all-stars on it. What is it that? It certainly does. It's, um, it was an idea that uh, was spawned by Paul. You can Wade. drop the English accent, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, no I get a week here. You, you don't <laughs> think I've got an American accent. Yeah, 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 I get the back girls are drive, driven time. crazy by yeah. that, right? It's, it's that right? these people from other lands. They're people from <laughs> other lands. They must be kind. I hope people have been Aliens. kind to you in New York here, because you're from another land. Go ahead. Yeah, it was just an idea that um, we had a song, or Paul had this song that he wanted to, uh, like, orchestrate. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, well, why not have, like, a rock and roll orchestra? In other words, you just, like, double and treble up on everything. So we had, like, three drums, which we had like, John Bonham from Zeppelin and uh, Kenny Jones, who replaced mm -hmm. Keith in The right. Who. And, uh, I don't know, for five or six guitars, was it? It was oh, five guitars. It was myself, Denny Lane, uh, Pete Townsend, mm -hmm. Dave Gilmore from The Floyd, and Hank Marvin, who's like an English legend who plays mm -hmm. with a band called The Shadows. 
bit yeah. like the Ventures. So we had like four percussion and four pianos and the whole oh, bit, and it was all filmed like wildlife. We can see all cameras, you know, just like uh, bugs crawling about, and all little pocket conversations going on, which is hilarious, you know. <laughs> it's like the rock so, musicians at work, you know. I think yeah, it's a fairly unique it, film, really. Yeah. It is. It's like a documentary on how you get a song together with that many people in the studio. It was a when lot is that going to be shown? Um, I don't know. In the, probably we have to finish it first. Oh. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do is get everybody in the Albert Hall. We're thinking about staging it as a show. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and that'll be like the end of the, the film, you know. So I think when that's done, we'll put it out. And Listen, be, are there any harmonica like a, a players? Theater near you. <laughs> sure, if you want to come <laughs> out and play I don't harmonica. Want a uh -huh. hand. Well, <laughs> no? All right. It's fantastic. We can you use can that. Better that's great. Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case they need one, you know. Sure, here. it's always oh, nice to know. I'd love to sit yeah, I guess I don't have the right to, do I? Nah, what the heck. Sure you do. <laughs> uh, some people, you know, I, you hear, one hears that uh, Beatles purists or what, what uh, McCartney fans or something that they have this thing about Linda, that uh, what is she doing in there? She's the intruder or something like that. Which mm. I'm not really familiar enough with the whole thing because the whole band sounds pretty good to me, but... Uh, um, Want a bad mother? No, I'm just. <laughs> no, the thing about Linda is that she's the she's the like the almost like the group's best critic, mm -hmm. you know, and she's she's got a good ear, mm -hmm. and let's face it, she's had like about ten years of excellent training now, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, she's got a lot of stuff down. I mean, I'd heard all those rumours before we even got involved in the band about how she can't play and he just wants his old lady on the stage and all this kind of thing. But in truth, yeah. it's not like that. I mean, she's got a lot of it down now. I mean, she's no virtuoso, but she's. Got all the well, I met together. her brother, and he's a very nice fellow. He's an attorney or something. John, and, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. right. And uh, well, shit, what am I going to say? He doesn't look like someone whose sister is a rock and roll <laughs> singer. I mean, I don't know what I'm aiming for here. But uh, you know, so I just thought I would mention it because I have heard this sort of thing, and I yeah, well, this, it's this sort happens, of sniping it? because uh, do you like the band or not is the problem. You know, yeah, sure. sure. But I mean, her voice is like an intricate part of the thing. It's, yeah. it, I mean, the blend of her voice with between Danny and Paul is like, I mean, that is the Wings vocal sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's much the same. I mean, when you sing with someone for a long while or you play with someone for a long while, you get sympathetic, you know, and so your voices tend to blend over a period of time, and that's something you can't, you can't get away from now. And... Uh, I don't really care what anybody says. They're bound to sort of, of bitch course. about it, you know. He is so talented, you know. Mm. He, he is a, a remarkable young man, I, I think, uh, Mr. McCartney. He mm -hmm. really is. But Linda makes better pea soup than he does. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you like that, folks? You got a little tidbit on the inside. <laughs> gossip, gossip. It's not cup of soup, instant from the factory. Uh, real uh, pea soup. That's the real That's thing. the stuff that sustained us all the time in Scotland, mm, believe yeah. it. Boy, that's the stuff that legends are made of, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a wonderful time talking to all of you, and uh, we appreciate your being here. Lawrence. Good, Good to be here. Steve. Thank you. Roy Orbison. And you gentlemen of Wings, and Stephen Stills, who's on his way to Kennedy Airport, and the horses he's going to wake up at Saratoga, <laughs> <laughs> and Dennis Elsis for the top 20. I'm going to miss you guys till the next show. <laughs>